What are the patient's symptoms, subjective or objective? If it is described by the patient or not observed by the nurse, it is subjective. Objective data is observed by the nurse, but in parentheses, measurable. That is important. If you have data on the stem of the question that is measurable, is numeric, you can tell the place value that is an objective data. Why is this important for you? Because in scenarios where the information that they're giving you is subjective and it's not clear, most of the time the answer is going to be an assessment. Versus if you see a scenario that you have objectable data, okay, measurable data, especially when you have objective data and an emergency, usually the answer is an implementation. Why am I saying usually? Because we cannot generalize in anything with on the NCLEX world, but for the most part, when we see those scenarios, the answer is implementation. If you have a measurable data and is an emergency. Understanding the style of question is important. Like I said, if you see that the question is a priority, then you have to identify what priority strategy you can use. But professor, how, do I, how, do, how can I determine that I am in front of a priority question? Well, you're going to see keywords like priority, which patient is a priority? What is the priority nursing action? Now, there are scenarios that you don't see the word priority and still is a priority question. For example, a patient arrives in the emergency department. A patient arrives by ambulance. A patient is returning to the floor. What is the most important intervention? The word most important is a priority. What patient should the nurse see first, call first? That is a priority style of question. There are common keywords that indicate the need to prioritize. Example, these words, essential, first, priority, or highest priority, immediate, initial, most important, most likely, next, primary, vital, most appropriate. If you see these keywords, it's telling you that you're probably in front of a priority question. And whenever you see that, you're going to tell yourself, okay, what priority strategy can I use? Assessment versus implementation, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the SAR method strategy, the doctor strategy. There's a bunch of prioritization strategies that you can learn. And we will discuss some of them here in our, in our seven-day training. 